Hey there, it's Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware here with the new Lenovo Smart Display with Google Assistant. This is specifically the 10 inch version of the Lenovo Smart Display. It has a 10 inch 1920 by 1200 Full HD display, IPS display, and there's also an 8 inch version of the platform. The 8 inch version sports a 1280 by 800 IPS display. Both units are powered by Qualcomm's Home Hub platform. Specifically, a Snapdragon 624 processor at 1.8 gigahertz, and it is driven by Android Things, the Android Things platform with Google Assistant. You also have a 5 megapixel wide angle camera, and the 10 inch version sports a 2 inch 10 watt speaker system with two passive tweeters, while the 8 inch version sports a 1.75 inch 10 watt speaker with two passive tweeters as well. Also on board is a physical camera shutter slot that you can just go ahead and slide up right there and that will actually block off and disable the camera and a microphone mute button. The mic is muted. The mic's back on. And a volume rocker as well as a pair of dual array microphones for excellent voice recognition from across the room. However, there's no power button on the device and currently Google Assistant doesn't have the ability to power itself down. Hey Google, Power off. Sorry, power controls is not yet supported. So currently, the only way to fully shut the system down is to just pull the power plug. Which, by the way, on the other end is this small, white and compact AC adapter. The device also has on-screen controls that you swipe up from the bottom, and you can adjust things like brightness, volume control, and you can set do not disturb on or off so that Google will not disturb you with notifications. So what exactly is the Lenovo Smart Display? Well, it's a smart display, true to its branding, and it's sporting Google Assistant on board for AI-assisted control and search functionality and lots of support for different apps like YouTube and Spotify, Google Photos, Chromecast, Google Duo for video calling, and you can even control smart home products like Nest thermostats and Philips Hue light bulbs. It's competitive to Amazon's Echo Show, which is an Alexa voice services activated smart display, but in this case, you get Google Assistant. It is essentially a Google Home with a head on it, so to speak, a display, 10 inch in this case, as well as a camera and a microphone that will listen to you and look at you. And the speaker will play audio and music and whatever else for you. But what else can you do with a Lenovo Smart Display with Google Assistant? Well, lots of things. You can play music and video and search the internet, uh, Wikipedia, what have you. You can even follow up questions with additional information and refine your results. But let's go ahead and give you a sample here. Hey, Google, play my Alabama Shakes station on Pandora Radio. Okay, check out this Alabama Shakes radio mix on Pandora. Hey Google, stop. Hey Google, show me a Transformers video trailer on YouTube. Sure, showing Transformers trailer videos. Hey Google, stop. But of course, there's a number of services that you can link into Google Home, which will be available then on the Lenovo Smart Display with Google Assistant, as you could see with my Pandora demonstration. But there's also something called routines, which you can set up different functions for Google to step through depending on whatever point in the day you're in and how you address the device. Hey Google, good morning. Hi, David. It is 5.51 p.m. Right now in Menden it's 82 and partly cloudy. Today, there will be isolated thunderstorms with a forecasted high of 84 and a low of 70. Have a wonderful day. Here's the latest news. Continuing Reuters TV at 5.15 p.m. today. TV, here are the top stories. Trump offers farmers billions to ease hey, the Google. Pain. Stop. 
Okay, so I'm a little off time-wise, but you get the drift. You can also control other smart devices like Nest thermostats or Philips Hue lighting just by issuing commands to them. Hey Google, set my living room temperature to 72 degrees. You got it, setting the living room to 72 degrees. And though you can link up a number of services through the Google Home app, not all are available on smart displays just yet. For example, Netflix, which was a bit of a disappointment. Hey Google, play me some Mad Men on Netflix. Sorry, Netflix can't be played on smart display. You can also set reminders and to-do lists. Hey Google, set a reminder to pick up mom tomorrow at 8.30 a.m. Okay, I'll remind you tomorrow at 8.30 a.m. Hey Google, thanks. You're very welcome. You also can create shopping lists. Hey Google, add bananas, strawberries, avocados, and steak to my shopping list. Okay, I've added bananas, strawberries, avocados, and steak to your shopping list. Hey Google, remove steak from my shopping list. Actually, I can't remove items from your shopping list yet. To manage your list, please use the shopping list in the Google Home app. But there are some obvious limitations that Google is still working on here as well. You can also make video calls with Google Duo. Hey Google, call Marco Cell. Making a video call to Marco Cell. Well, hello, hello there. Hello. Hey there, young fella. Where, where are you at? Where are you right now? I'm sitting at a gate in the lovely uh, New York's JFK airport. Excellent, excellent. How's the itinerary looking so far? Uh, it was, it's been pretty smooth sailing. Hopefully my flights are as good as the drive-in. Cool. Well, safe travels, my friend. Thanks, man. I'll check in when I land. Catch you later. All right, later. And you can call in portrait mode. Hey, Google. Call Marco Cell. Making a video call to Marco Cell. And of course, ever powered by Google Search, you can ask it all kinds of informational requests as well. Hey Google, what's the nearest seafood restaurant? I found several restaurants near you. The first one is George's Surf and Turf. It's 2.12 miles away and is rated 4.5 stars. Hey Google. What's the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? About 24 miles per hour, but significantly slower when carrying coconut shells. It obviously understands Monty Python humor as well. Hey Google, what's your favorite color? I like blue, red, yellow, and green. Google's colors. Now audio fidelity wise, the Lenovo smart speaker is actually pretty good with a single 10 watt speaker system. Hey Google, Play me some chill music. All right, check out this chill music station on YouTube. Hey Google. Hurry up. Play me some John Mayer blues. All right, here's B.B. King and John Mayer, King of Blues, Completo, on YouTube. Every day I wake up, I put B.B. King on just to remember how to do it right. I went on tour with a trio, one of the hardest things I ever did in my life. So that wraps up our nickel tour of the Lenovo Smart Display with Google Assistant. Again, this is the closest competitor we have right now to the 7-inch Amazon Echo Show that retails for $179 currently, while the 10-inch version Lenovo Smart Display retails for $249 and the 8-inch at $199. So you get a bit more display for your money with Lenovo's product, but more importantly, products like these are currently more about which AI smart platform you might subscribe to most. 
If you're a big online shopper and are interested in a solid merchant engine to go with a smart speaker, along with a slight edge currently in smart home control, the Echo Show might be the way to go for you. However, if you're interested in a device with a more powerful search-enabled engine and hooks to the Android ecosystem, the Lenovo Smart Display is likely a better choice. We have a great showdown between the Amazon Echo and Google Home at hothardware.com as well, so be sure to check that out for more details on how these two competing platforms will compare now and in the future. In the meantime, hit thumbs up if you like this review and don't forget to hit subscribe and the reminder bell to get notified when we go live with new content and our Two and a Half Geeks webcast. I'm Dave Altavilla for HotHardware.com with the Lenovo Smart Display. Hey Google, bye for now. Auf Wiedersehen. That's goodbye in German. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs>